Salsa work second season episode three. Right. <sighs> Double cases ulit. So the first was dengue, then the second was acne. Pinaka intense yung acne. <laughs> Grabe. I love the way they, por they portray bad cells here. Uh, germs, viruses, talagang creepy looking. <laughs> and uh, 11.46 is reaction to, to them. Wow, okay. Nothing short of violent. <laughs> Alright. Pero tika, side trip muna tayo sa dengue. There was this Jojo reference uh, amongst the uh, the main storyline. Okay. They portrayed the dengue virus as a mask. So, na curious si si Langer Hansel. Biglang, biglang kumapit sa kanya yung mask. Kaya ayun, na, na possess na siya. So, the dengue rush is on. <laughs> But they were able to subdue it. Nagkali pa nga sila kay, ano eh, kay mask cell for uh, releasing histamines too early. Pero, It's a vital reaction. It's a vital reaction, Twitch, YouTube. Kung hindi, uh, the sooner the histamine gets to uh, to the reaction area, the better. Because it facilitates uh, facilitates the presence of uh, like white blood cells, macrophages, any immune cell necessary to take out the source of the reaction. So, in the case of dengue, medyo nalate si mast cell. So, na-realize yung, na yung work niya. Release the histamines na facilitate ang pagdating nila red blood cell tsaka ng mga macro. Nila white blood cell tsaka ni macro fats. Ayun, napatay nila. Na-extingue sila ang dengue threat. Right? So, in the case of acne, there was nothing like this. Okay? Si white blood cell lang talaga ang nag-respond. He single-handedly took out the king, the king acne germ. So, pero without, uh, without, of course, without the help of the other, the other hair cells. So, nga, kinlo sila o nakakumulit ng sibo o yun, nalunod, tuloy na nalunod yung king germ na napatay, napatay tuloy ni, ni White ni, ni 1146. Napatay niya. Wow. Okay. What a way to. Uh, to describe how how acne and dengue and dengue fever starts okay how how both those cases start ganda ang ganda overall it was a really really good episode all right although uh cells at work have gone to have gone the path of uh talking about two cases in one episode i'm slowly i'm slowly liking it I am slowly liking it, right? Pero yung pace, yung, yung pace medyo mabilis kasi you're, you'll be dealing with two cases na per episode so medyo mabilis na ang pace. Okay lang. Okay lang. There's so much to discuss regarding the human immune system. Siguro dapat lang. It's about time. It's about time. Eh, yung flow, yeah, medyo mabilis ngayon. Yung plot, syempre, nahati na sa dalawa. Pero not as much as na yung na-sacrifice yung plot for each uh, for each half of the episode. Hindi hindi na-sacrifice yung quality. Right? Vintage sells at work, if you ask me. Okay? It's a really, really good episode. Okay? They're starting to... Uh, the animators are now starting to get the hang of we We, the viewers, are starting to get the hang of it. Kung maga, naumpisa no, lahat to nung episode 2 eh. Yung double cases in one episode. So, medyo, ako medyo, medyo adjusted na ako sa bagong siste ng C. Sa bagong siste ng Cells at Work. Right? So, Cells at Work second season episode 3. Thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. Thumbs up. Well, kasi, um, kumbaga, they really have to, looks like, well, uh, this, is, this is only my theory. Looks like the animators are starting to, um, uh, pick up the pace when it comes to, 
when it comes to cells at work. Kasi, the manga, the manga is about to end. Okay? The original manga is about to end. It, it's this month. Sinabi ni. The manga is about to end this month. So, medyo, probably, uh, probably lang. Probably, they are, they really want to get to the chapter where, where COVID-19 is being tackled. Siguro ganon. Right? Pero, I don't think they're going to, uh, I don't think they're going to make it. Pero, yung system ngayon of um, tackling two cases in one episode, I am beginning to like it. Kasi, ako medyo, medyo gets ko because of, because of my educational background. But, um, probably most anime fans now, most, uh, most of the viewers now, uh, medyo mabibilisan, medyo mabibilisan sila, pero, in the end, they will, tr- they will understand it. They will understand, they will, they will still get educational value from, from this, uh, from this anime. Kahit dalawang, kahit dalawang cases na in one episode, magigets pa rin nila. Okay? Magigets pa rin nila. So again, Cells at Work second season episode 3, two thumbs up. Okay? A, uh, another educationally enlightening two thumbs up. The next episode has been teasered, another two cases. Pero hindi ko nung nasasabihin kasi medyo komplikado eh. Medyo complicated yung terms. So, you, let's just watch the next episode. Okay? Let's just watch it. Sounds at Work Code Black, Episode 5. <sighs> Delikado pala ma-stress out ng mga T-cells, ano? <laughs> Pati, ano eh, pati, pati kapwa niya good sales, papatulan niya eh. Well, that's actually, that, that is actually what happens inside your body when you're too stressed out or you have, or you have been abusing it for too long, right? Kahit yung mga, mga killer T and helper T sales mo, nalilito na kung sinong kalaban. Alright, ganun lang yun. So, yun nga, uh, it's about hair loss. That's exactly what hair loss. That's exactly how um, how hair loss starts, right? They were eventually suppressed by the steroids. Kung baga, uh, IRL inanush nagtake na ng gamot yung body para mas tape off yung hair loss niya. Siguro kinakalbo na talaga. <clears throat> so he, so that body had no choice but to but to take steroids. Steroidal drugs, okay? Kasi may mga, may mga drugs na steroidal and non-steroidal. Especially mga anti-inflammatory drugs. Siguro there's, uh, there's something, there's some other underlying disease na that is causing the hair loss which we saw in the final scene. Alright? Siguro, yun yung talagang, yun yung talagang problema ngayon ng body na yun. Overall, it is a really good episode. Another, another, pasol, another pathology lesson for me. <laughs> another pathology lesson for me. YouTube, Twitch. Alright? Yung pace, yung flow, the plot. Seamless. Seamless lahat. It all came together in uh, in the final scene. All came together. Grabe. I never knew uh, hair loss could be portrayed this way. I never knew the science behind hair loss would be portrayed this way. So, Cells at Work, Code Black, Episode 5. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. If you would look at the episode again, if you would look at the episode again, nagupisan natin sa ano eh, sa mga 
Ang nagpahina sa katawan na yon yung gonorrhea, which eventually na which eventually nagamot. Siguro gumamit ng uh, the body was that body was uh, had uh, had no choice but to use strong medicines to suppress the gonorrhea. Okay. Now, so in this episode, the body had no choice but to use killer T cells na kasi kulang na sa white blood cells. That in itself, immunocompromised ka na. So, your body has no choice but to release the killer T cells. Ngayon, the helper T cells, which are uh, feeding the orders to the killer T's, kahit sila, stressed out na rin. Kahit sila stressed out na rin. So, well, they don't know the difference between the good and the bad cells. So, basta sinabi lang nila sa, yun nga, katulad na nangyari sa episode na to, sinas- sinasabi lang nila sa killer T cells, eliminate porn substances, eliminate porn substances. So, no choice but to follow the orders on T cells, on killer T cells. What did they attack? Hmm. The hair matrix cells, the ones that are responsible for for your growing hair. Get it all. Yeah. If you're too stressed out, or kung meron kang underlying na sakit, you will experience hair loss. Dahil, yung mga killer T cells mo, pinapatay yung mga hair matrix cells mo. Okay? Tama ito. Okay? Tama yung pagkaka-portray sa episode na to. That usually happens. That no, that usually happens when uh, when you have an underlying disease or when you're too stressed out. Automatic, release the body mo ang killer T cells niya, and the helper the helper T cells are giving them the orders. So what happens? If the helper T cells themselves are too stressed out, they give the wrong orders. Boom, hair loss. Pero may underlying cause pala, which was said in the, fi- in the final scene. Ay, hindi ko na sasabihin. Panoorin nyo na lang yung episode para may matutunan kayo. Alright? So again, Cells at Work Code Black Episode 5. Two thumbs up. Uh, healthcare approved. Two thumbs up. Okay. So, tinisun na rin yung next episode. Alright. Ito, mas, mas seryosong topic ito. Serious ang topic ito. It's a topic that's actually close to home. Right? Masa ang clue ko, no? It's not exactly, it's not exactly the, um, it's not exactly the, the, the affliction that took my father's life. No. It is much worse. It is much worse. So, panorin natin yung episode nito. Dr. Stone's Stone Wars Episode 2. Wow. Alright. Simply wow. Why? Because we got to learn a few things about uh, how to make a uh, how to make a how to make a flare bomb how to well, on how the well, basic well, the biggest lesson we're going to learn from this episode is how to how a cell phone actually works. Alright? Tsaka yung ano eh, pinagdaan nila para ma- ma-planta yung isang yung isang cell phone. Talagang they grinded. Right? And they were able to capture the scout named Humura. Ito yung kumbaga eh right hand man de Chukasa. Right hand man niya to. Pero babae. She uses a skill called gymnastic. Daping gymnast pala to. Kaya pala hindi mahuli ni, ano, ni, I forgot the, ano, uh, I forgot her name, yung parang ninja kung gumalaw, na may, may samurai na gano'n. Galing. Okay. I love how, um, how they were able to one-up the, one-up the enemy here. Okay. Kumaga, well, anyway, overall, it's a really good episode. It is a really good episode, all right. To con- to 
bury a major communications device on a grave site, okay, that is pretty World War II. Okay? That is a World War II is tactic. Ginamit nila rito. Alright. And what else? Um, well, the base medyo mabilis, pero it's completely understandable. They're running against time pressure kasi kasi yung team nila again, the cell phone team, umahabo na si Umura doon. Hum humura sa on their tail. So, sila, same ko naman, inahabo si Umura para mahuli. But they were successful in catching her. And, wow. Okay. So, yung unang nakasama ni ni Senko, ayun, nagamit yung cellphone. So, bilang, bilang pangunahing spy ng Kingdom of Science, mag-report mag -report na siya. That's where the episode ended. Right? So, the pace, the flow, the plot, seamless. Okay. It did, um, this episode did not croak in any aspect. It did not croak. Kumbaga, hindi siya pumugak. Hindi siya pumugak dito. So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 2. Two thumbs up. Makayo, ang tama man, no? <laughs> no, two thumbs up. We are, they are, the setting is, the setting is actually a new Stone Age. 3,700 years into the future, pero, alam natin lang kung bakit nagkaganon ang mundo ng Dr. Stone. Right? A mysterious light suddenly turns the entire human race into stone. Some of them woke up after 3,700 years. Senko included, and even Chukasa. And then, si Chukasa pala, ni revive ni Senko. And the ingrate that he is, he stabs Senko in the back. So, he forms his own empire. The Kingdom of Might, ang tinatawag. So, ang mga, ang mga kaalyado niya rito, based on athletic ability. Right? Based on athletic ability. So, yeah, he has a reason. He has a, he has a good reason to form the Kingdom of Might. Based on the principle of a, uh, Called, what we call Machiavellian subterfuge parang ganun yan eh so he's also relying on Darwin's uh, on Darwin's principle of evolution that uh, only the strong survive Seiko disagrees kaya sila nagiwalay ng landas right so, wow okay what a, <clears throat> I rarely give episode 2 the 2 thumbs up agad Okay. It's either one thumb up or yung middle rating. But with the, with the case in the case of Dr. Stone Stone Wars, I was so impressed with this episode. I was very impressed with this episode. Kaya two thumbs up ang ko. So again, Dr. Stone Stone Wars episode 2. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. A uh, a, two thumb, a two thumbs up backed by science. <laughs> you know me, guys. You know my educational background. Kaya medyo relate din ako sa relate din ako sa anime na to. I wasn't able to I really wasn't able to to what you call this? To watch the entire season one. Kasi I was too busy kaya naman to, 2019. I was too busy watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains at the time. And of course, uh, Cooking Master Boy, uh, Beastars. Yan, yan ang mga napanood kong bagong anime noong 2019. Demon Slayer nga, hindi ko pinanood eh. Dr. Stone pa. But, um, Season 2 is making me regret not watching Season 1. Right? This early. Episode 2. So, ano tini sir? Title lang ng next episode. Why is this the animator of this? Eh? Why is this the animator of this? That's why it's titled So, it's our job now to watch it next week. Higurashi 2020 episode 16 Okay. 
the very disturbing episodes are now starting to startling start starting to trickle in right the moment Rika apologized for her crime everything seemed went everything went everything everything seemed back to normal again until the final scene she wants to talk to Rika. She wants to talk to Rika. Right? I still don't get it why uh, why the current generation of anime fans don't don't want to watch the reboot. Much less watch the original. Watch the original series. Right? I'm slowly getting the concept of this anime. Right? I'm slowly getting the concept of this anime. And wow right it's a combination of um, let me explain let me explain it a little bit um, clearer okay? this anime is boggling your mind while at the same time uh, grossing you out right while at the same time creeping you out uh, and I love the mix right I gotta admit I love the mix now for this episode Wow. <clears throat> Probably one of the most disturbing dream sequences I have ever seen. One of the most disturbing. Right? I, I'm not I'm not going I'm not I'm not going to go into the details, all right? It is too disturbing to describe. Baka ma-put off kayo hindi niyo pa hindi niyo pa noonin lalo anime na to. Right? Baka hindi niyo mapanood lalo anime na to. If I go into the details, but so my tip for you guys twitch and youtube is just uh just go to just go to the uh, just go on the net and watch it right i don't have uh, i am not entitled to give you a full explanation of this episode all right Masa. It has, the, it has one of the most disturbing dream sequences I have ever seen in an anime. Right? Overall, it's a hellishly good episode. Right? It's a hellishly good episode. You face uh, the flow, of course, uh, yeah, the plot, alright? You have to you have to grow a little more brain cells for this particular episode. You have to grow a little more brain cells than usual, right? Mind game. You have to eat. You have to eat. Uh, you probably have to eat a shot glass full of nuts to fully understand this episode. But hey, like I said, it's a hellishly good episode. It's a hellishly good episode. Uh, well, I don't want to go into the details because I might actually discourage you from watching this anime right or I might even discourage you to to watch the original series so I am not going to go into the details of this episode nope no 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 uh, well twitch uh, twitch both twitch and YouTube might ban me from it from doing it all right what's that it's it's disturbing but hellishly good a hellishly good episode. So, Higurashi 2020 episode 16. Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. I, I was slapping my face like this. I was literally slapping my face while, uh, while, that, while that dream sequence was going on. <laughs> you see me, Twitch, right? I was, I was doing like that. It was that disturbing. It was that disturbing. It, it takes a lot uh, for for uh, for any TV for any TV program to make me do this. Just to just to just to pull me back into reality. All right. Grab All right. Whew. And you know what? Like like I said before. Like I said before, reviewing this first on a Sunday afternoon, 
probably one of the best moves I've ever... Probably one of the best moves I've ever made in my... In, in this... Uh, in, in this entire anime review thing. Because, well... I have mentally prepared myself for the second half of this run by Higurashi. Of the, of the, uh, the Higurashi Rebo. Right? It has... Well, it has prepared me mentally. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 16. Two thumbs up, right? A well, you better watch it for yourselves. Two thumbs up. I am not going to go into the details because it is so disturbing that it might warrant me a copyright strike on both both Twitch and on YouTube. Aye. As usual, no scenes from the next episode has been teasered, just the title. Let's just watch it, folks. The Promised Neverland second season, episode 3. They finally found the shelter. Pero, um... Looks like they have everything... They need it. It's like they never left the house or the farm. Um, essential needs like uh, food, power, water, and the haligu sila. And even get to well, even get to entertain and educate themselves. Because we have a library, a piano. May isa pala silang kasama dun na magaling magpiano. Right? Isang bata dun. I forgot his name. And there's a secret entrance. You know, the piano itself, okay, the uh, the highest key, sa dulo, sa right. If they hit that, it leads to a secret entrance. It opens a secret entrance. And wow, final scene. They stumbled. Some of the kids stumbled onto a room where a wall says, "Help." Then, sila Emma naman. They stumble onto another room with a phone booth. Okay, there is a phone booth in the middle of nowhere. That suddenly rings. This is Mr. Minerva. <laughs> Overall, it's a um, it's a heartwarm. It's both a heartwarming and disturbing episode. All right, because. Sa, sa final scene they stumbled upon two rooms that are that seem off that seem off tapos the phone rings on the other end of that may nagsalita this is Mr. Minerva alright so then we go we, we sort of go back to what Sonju said I cannot wait for the day I can eat a natural something to that effect. A natural human. So right now, his his feet doesn't allow him to um, doesn't allow him to eat those to eat these kids. Kasi pinarm sila. They were farmed. Right? So according to I think the the articles of their original of the original faith, you are not allowed to eat farmed organisms, even humans. Okay. Emma and the others are farmed, so it's against his religion to eat that. Pero yung kumaga eh, kumaga lumak is a wild. It's a, if it's a wild human, nothing in his religion says na bawal. So, he just told Mujika that he cannot wait for that day. Na merong well, siguro uh, procreation sets in. Ah! Alright? So, that part pa lang is disturbing. Pero, the most disturbing part is yun nga. They stumble upon these two rooms that seem off. Pero, it's, it's still a heartwarming episode kasi nakarating sila sa shelter. 
they are now 99.99% uh, .99 safe. Why do they 99.99%? Well, these two rooms are the 0.01%. You get me, Twitch? You get me, mga ka lifestyle? So, The Promised Neverland, second season, episode 3. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. This episode is a good mix. Okay. A good mix of lighthearted drama and then suddenly disturbing suspense. Okay? It has it has its own disturbing moments like sinabi ni, ni Sonjo. Kaya pala niya. Kaya pala niya tinuro. Kaya pala tinuro. Tinuro niya sa mga bata mga essential skills. Essential skills. Uh, just for their just for their own survival out there. He cannot wait for the day na magpo-procreate. And of course, this uh, the children that will result from this pro from this procreation stuff will, be, will, make, will turn them into wild humans. Natural humans. So, that that now um, gives them the right to hunt these kinds of kids down. And of course, the two rules the, the, two rules the kids discovered that alone is disturbing. That alone is disturbing. Right, so you know what? The pace, the plot, and the flow. Mm -hmm. They all fell into place. They all fell into place. And the final scene is a good setup for whatever the whatever whatever the next episode the next episode holds for us. Right? So again, the promised Neverland second season episode three. Two thumbs up. A uh, yeah, good mix kind of two thumbs up. So well, nothing has been nothing has been teasered. So well, we got no, we uh, we are totally compelled to watch the next episode. Kaya, tutok na lang tayo guys, tutok na lang tayo. Jujutsu Kaisen episode 15. Wow. Pagbaka umati ka mo ha, between uh, Todo and Itadori. Grabe. We're in the final scene. I kinasa na niya yung divergent fist niya. Yung... Ano, anong setup setup time? Wala na. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with... I will crush your face with this. <laughs> Kanon. Wow. Di, nabisto yung plano. Na, nabisto nila Megumi yung plano. That all the Kyoto students are trying to, to assassinate the Tandori upon, the, upon their principal's orders. Bisto. Wala na. Eh, Some of them came clean na. Some of them came clean. But despite all that, the battle between Itadori and Todo rages on. Okay. And Based on what, what's teasered, it's going to spill over the next episode. <laughs> Grabe. Overall, overall, it is one hell of an episode. It's one hell of an episode. Grabe. But, yung palang fight scene between Itadori and Todo, busog ka na. Kalagita pa na ng laban nila, mabubusog ka na eh. Right? Then, of course, the, um, parang, the dream sequence Toto had while he was... Ano? Ang weirdo naman ito! Napaka-weirdo ang kalaban! Ito si Toto, grabe! In the heat of a battle, he still thinks like a lolicon! He still thinks like a fucking lolicon! He saw, he saw Toto's reaction when... Uh, when he thought said that his type is Jennifer Lawrence! <laughs> Si Mystique sa X-Men! Yeah, I don't know. Well, we, we all know how sexy Jennifer Lawrence is. And we don't care if she's lesbian. <laughs> and we do not 
We do not give a shit if she's lesbian. If she's openly lesbian na. We do not give a shit. <laughs> she's that much of a hottie. And well, Itandori knows it. So, she niya. Like Jennifer Lawrence. Gumano na si Tode. Ikayin siguro. This man has taste. This man's got taste. Grabe. To be able to cinch in that, um, that, uh, that humor part, that comic relief in the heat of a, in the, in the middle of an intense battle, it takes a lot of brain cells. And it takes uh, impeccable timing. It takes impeccable timing to do that. Studio Mapa, hats off to you guys. So, Jujutsu Kaisen, episode six, uh, episode 15. Tignan ko magkamali uli. <laughs> Two thumbs up. And a big toe. <laughs> Two thumbs up and a big toe. Kasi, ano ba lang eh? Kumaga, this episode has a, um, all this. Kumaga eh, kumaga sa mga Filipino dishes, um, it's as good as kare-kare and halo-halo. Yan, ganyan. It's as good as kare-kare and halo-halo. The right mix. Okay? The, the, right, the right mix of ingredients. And all coming together to form one hellishly good episode. Ganon. Alright? Talagang, uh, if you're an anime connoisseur like me, you would quickly appreciate this, uh, these kinds of anime episodes. Ang galing. It was nicely done by by Mapa. Nicely done. Grabe. Talagang, um, gumag gumagano na ako, at the same time, nakatawa pa ako. <laughs> with, with, with Toto's, with Toto's sick mindset. His lolicon mindset. Alright? If you look at it, it's a dangerous combination. Okay? It's a dangerous combination. With an insanely strong character like Todo having a lolicon mind lolicon mindset like this. God knows what he can do to his opponent. <laughs> eh right now, eh, mukhang nasasabik siya kasi eh. Mas malakas sa tingin niya, mas malakas pa sa kanya si Itadori eh. Despite being smaller, in size and frame. Mas mali pa. Hamak na. Hamak ang laki niya kay Itadori. Pero, uh, pero, Itadori is <clears throat> minute by minute in the battle. <clears throat> he has been um, matching Toto punch for punch. Hit for hit. Minamatch siya talaga. Alright? So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 15. Two thumbs up. Alright. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Two thumbs up, mga ka lifestyle. Like I said a while ago, the next episode has been teasered. The battle spills over to this one. Let's just watch it and enjoy it. Alright? Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 33. Galigiga ako to? <laughs> at the point of, uh, at the point of breaking down, he suddenly, he suddenly picks himself up. Boom. Releases his new monster card. Uses his new monster. Probably his new ace. Okay. <clears throat> Pero akala nila, akala nila, nanalo si Gaku to, malaya na sila makabalik sa Goku 7. Sabi ni, uh, sabi ni Asana, nope, you can't. Imbis na mangyari yun, tinamang pa sila sa isang, sa isang bulok na dormitory. Which, which Yuga actually wanted. Okay. Siguro talagang, talagang ini-expect na ni Yuga na ito ang gagawin ni, uh, ni Asana. So, talagang really rooted for Gakuto to win. Nakarating siya na sa hidden door. Okay, in-explain niya. Paano nagkaroon ng maximum si Asana? Hmm. 
Nagkahit siya, nagkahit siya kasi nag as, nag assume si Luke na the dog of old maximum cards. Pwede. Pwede. Pwede mangyari. Overall, number one, the duel was quite intense as usual. As usual, hindi siya, ano eh, hindi siya uh, mabilis tulad ng last tulad, tulad, tulad ng last duel. Hindi siya mabilis. Alright? And, um, gusto ko yung pace, yung, yung flow ng story, and of course, the plot. Okay? There, after Yugas lost to Asana, ayun, napadpad sila sa Goa, Goa 6 Elementary. They were transferred there. Yun pala! Tama hinala ko. Goa, Goha, has a, had a hand on it. I love the twist that uh, that this anime went to. The, 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 the twist, yung itong twist na to, I like it. Reminiscent of <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Uh, ganyan, ganyan katindi ang ganyan katindi ang impact ng twist ng, ng twist na to. Eh, ganun katindi. It's like uh, uh, Judy Judy losing to Edo. Yeah, parang ganun yun. Parang ganun yun. Parang ganun ganun katindi yung impact ng twist na to. Parang ganun yun. Alright? <clears throat> Masa, it's a it's a really good episode. It is a really good episode. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Seventh episode thirty-three. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. Sabi ko na nga ba? Sabi ko na nga ba? May 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 galamay na pinagalaw ang Goha rito eh. All right. Bayaran ng Goha ang Machine Cavalry Duel Club. And if it weren't for Gaoto's win over Galliant, hindi sila mapapawasan ng tao. Hindi sila mapapawasan ng tao. Kasi after Galliant lost to Gaoto, he walked out of Goha 6. Talagang, he's out of the club. <clears throat> he, he proverbially, he proverbially resigned from the club. He proverbially resigned from the club. So, kumaga, outcast na siya. And what? We now know how much of a bitch Asana is. <laughs> We now know how much of a whore she is. Binarap ng Goha yan! Nagre-report siya sa Goha eh. Sa mga nangyayari kila Yuge. I hope Yuga gets the maximum monster. He gets the maximum monster he needs in that uh, in that mind. Okay? So para para maka para matalo naman niya si Asana. I hope so, right? Pero, wow. The duel was really good. The script, the duel script was really good. And of course, exchange of, exchange of, uh, uh, what's it called this? Exchange of attacks. Nila Gadget tsaka ni Gako to. Really good. I had fun watching it. I had fun watching it. I was close to the edge right here. Right here. I was close to the edge of what, what's going to happen. What's going to happen. Talaga. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7th episode 33. Two thumbs up. So next episode, oy, mukhang, mukhang maganda. Mukhang, mukhang maganda rin to. And, um, well, panorin na natin. Alright? Hindi, hindi ko hindi teaser to. I am not going to teaser this one. Let's just watch Let's just watch it, okay, guys? Let's just watch it. King's Raid, episode 17. Tama. Episode 17 nga. But anyway, uh, it took... It took his grave injuries for well for Rihit to come clean sort of alam na alam na ni Princess Scarlet ang kanyang ulterior motives 
being the venerable leader that she is, she is uh, holding herself accountable for this. For allowing, okay? Allowing all of this to happen. Yung pinaggagawang, yung mga katarantaduhan na mga kasama kanya. Um, the, uh, the oppressive nature of the knights. Final scene. Yung right hand, yung kanang kamay ni Maldo. Pakita ko ni Kirihi. Sinabi, yung pawang katotohanan lamang about, uh, about, about his ancestor, Ilya. Yung, uh, closest associate ni King Kyle. Right? Who was, uh, ito, who was executed based on a false accusation. Overall, It's a decent episode. It's a decent episode. Yung pace, yung flow, and uh, well, I don't, I wouldn't want to call it plot kasi parang there's no ano eh, there's no definite ano eh, walang definite climax kasi binitin tayo eh. Binitin, binitin ako ng episode na to. Binitin ako ng gusto. So the pace, yeah, Say may just slowed down because well everyone is tending to re his injuries. Kasi talagang he was the only one to survive the attack by Maldoke. Eh. Siya na talaga yung binuhay dito. Siya na talaga yung binuhay dito eh. ni ni Maldok. And oh, the flow, yeah, okay lang. Um, probably the highlight of that episode was him coming clean. Was him confessing to to Princess Scarlet yung Supreme Commander ng Knights of, mga Knights of Orphelia about his motives his real motives in, in helping out the Orphelians and taking out the demons so alam na okay? I do not know we all do not know what is running through Princess Scarlet's mind right now kahit siya mismo hindi niya alam kung ano gagawin niya Kahit siya mismo, hindi niya alam kung ano gagawin niya. So yeah, that. Which made it, which made that uh, scene, made it, uh, made the episode decent. Really made the episode decent. So, King's Raid, episode 17. Bottom up. <clears throat> A, um, well, kasi I couldn't give it a lower rating because of what Rihit did, of what Rihit, of how Rihit came clean with uh, with his motives. Well, because he thought he was he was probably in so much pain that that he had to do that. You know what? Being intoxicated and being in severe pain. Has uh, probably has the same uh, probably has the same effect. You will come clean to either. You will come clean because of either one. You will come clean because of either one. But probably compared to getting intoxicated, coming clean because of because of it, because you're in you're in so much because your body is in so much pain. It's probably uh, it's probably more credible. It's more truthful, right? So this warranted um, that what we did here in this episode warranted the one top up, right? <clears throat> at least he was honest with at least because he was honest with himself. Sinabi niya, sinabi niya talaga, right? So let's give him that. Let's give him credit where let's give credit where credit is due. So again, King's Raid episode 17. Matama. Okay? Matama. The story now switches back to to Team Castle. Team Castle. <clears throat> Someone wants to come clean also. Alright, so 
This will probably be a better episode than this one. We gotta watch that one. Yashahime episode 16. Uh, classic case of teacher student issues, but um, the teacher gives her final lesson tomorrow. Ha? Um, based dearly with her life. Dahil, uh, Ponton, the bastard that he is, uh, dragged her into it. So, yun na. You know what? I'm going to enjoy the day the three girls will finally be able to kill Conton. I'm going to enjoy that episode. I'm going to enjoy that episode. Uh, and I guess, well, Mora has learned a new, um, a new variation to her Crimson Dragon Wave, right? Overall, it's a really good episode, right? There's a moral lesson to be learned in this episode. I say, well, um, If a teacher has, um, if a teacher has become all in to you as the student, it means well, um, he or she something sees something in you that only you, that only you can ever see. You, you get me, guys. You get, you get me to it. You get me, my lifestyle. In her final act on this earth, um, Yawaragi still. Uh, Yawaragi gives her gives Moroha a final lesson. So yun na, the Crimson Backlash week. May value, uh, uh, may value ang episode. Ito. That's why I I told you guys it's a, it's a really good episode. Okay. Despite Conton's uh, <clears throat> Conton's brand of evil, uh, Yawaragi's final les final lesson to Moroha. That, that made it a really good episode. Okay, that made it a really good episode. So, Yasahime, episode 16. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Sabi ko sa inyo eh. I'm going to enjoy the day Conton gets put down by the three girls. <laughs> uh, Conton gets put down by the girls. Okay. I'm going to enjoy... Watching that episode over and over and over again. <laughs> scumbag! He's a scumbag amongst all the four perils. He, he's, a, he's a certified scumbag. Scumbag talaga to si Conton. And, uh, well, uh, siguro, uh, Morha also realized na she wasn't uh, she wasn't learning this lesson alone so she has she has the twins she has her twin cousins to, to be by her side right I'm touching them I'm touching them that's uh, that's the uh, what you call this that's that was the value uh, that was the value the uh, Inuyasha brought to, to the anime world. May, uh, may moral lesson. Eh. Talaga may obvious na moral lesson pa matututunan. Eh. Even here in Yashahime. Even here in, Yash even here in Yashahime. Right? So again, Yashahime episode 16. Two thumbs up. Okay. A moral lesson uh, antique. Two thumbs up. So next episode has been featured. Ooh, oh my god, that's all. The day of reckoning for I think yeah, Conton and Rico is about to come in this episode. So, panoorin lang natin, okay? Panoorin lang natin, guys. Okay, panoorin lang natin. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 7. Holy shit! <laughs> Naitumba na nila ang Beast Titan, <clears throat> the Card Titan, and the Jaw Titan. Tatlo in one episode. <clears throat> Naitumba nila 
And of course, the Warhammer Titan. Eren finally kills its controller. And you won't believe how he did it. In the most gruesome way. Grabe. Lumabas ang pagkat demonyo ni Eren dito. Lumabas ang pagkat demonyo niya. Eren is starting to look like the villain here. He started to look like the arch villain here. In this, in, in, in the final season. <clears throat> but he did not do it alone. He has Levi and the Survey Corps. Actually, si Levi ang dumanis sa Beast Titan. Without Zeke knowing it. Overall, it is better than episode 6. Better than episode 6. Grabe. I guess, this was Mapa's, Mapa's way of Mapa's way of telling uh, uh, telling those who tweeted badly against it to go fuck themselves. It was Mapa's way of telling go fuck yourselves. Grabe. Pace, the flow, the plot. Wow. And did you see how the Colossal Titan made its grand entrance? Grabe. Naghahanda ang fleet. Marley, para para patay si Eren. Kasi, dalawa, I think dalawang titan na yung natadali nila eh. So they had to call in the Navy. And yung pala, it was part of the plan na isingit na ang colossal titan, yung bago niyang controller. We all know Bertolt is dead. Okay? Naman nila si Bertolt. So, it now has a new controller. May bagong controller ng Colossal Titan yun. Yun ang ginamit nila para uh, para patayin yung buong fleet. He, the new Colossal Titan nukes the entire fleet. Wala! Ay, wala na kayong wala na kayong wala na kayong water support ngayon. Mm. So, practically, the army and all of the Titans are now sitting ducks to to the Wrath of Paradise. Grabe. Whew. It was a it was a bit hard to watch, but pero wow, this is the brand of violence attack on Titan is known for. Yung ganito, okay? Yung ganito classic violence. Wow, and well, there is a moral lesson here. The moral lesson is war is ugly. So. Attack on Titan, final season, episode 7. Two thumbs up and a big toe. Two thumbs up and a big toe. Rightfully so. Grabe. I don't know how, I know, I know how, uh, what Mama was thinking for this episode, pero I'm sure in the back of the minds of, of other animators, they want they want to silence their critics from last week. What a big way to silence your critics. <laughs> MAPA is a trailblazing animation studio. Did you see... Did you see the animation on, on this particular episode? Ha? Mga ka-lifestyle? Ha, Twitch? Ang linis! As if actual humans are in the scene. Ang mga galaw pang tao na. Alright? Although it's not, although it's not humanly possible, pero, the way the, the way the characters move, even the titans, ah, buhay na buhay. Okay? True to life. Not, it's, it's almost true to life, actually. Alright? If you ask me, Mapa over-delivered on this episode. Okay? Mapa over-delivered on this episode alone. Ang linis sa pagkakagawa eh. Alright? It's the perfect way to silence critics. So, so maybe, um, maybe I can ask those critics right now, where, where, where are you? Nasaan na kayo? <laughs> parang, parang hindi ko na kayo nakikita sa, parang hindi ko na nakikita yung mga tweets nyo sa FB ko eh. Or sa, or even sa Instagram ko. Alright? Or even sa, well, or even sa YouTube. I couldn't see your, um, I don't see your, 
I don't see your bashing right now on YouTube. Baka... Teka, baka kailangan ko magpalit ng grado kasi hindi, ko, hindi mo na kayo makakita eh. Hindi ko na kayo makakita eh. Alright? <laughs> Screw them. <laughs> Mapa just gave us an episode that is way... That's probably way better than episode 6. And... And you guys know what rating I gave that episode. Shut up na lang ako. <laughs> so again, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 7. Two thumbs up. A silence the, silence the critics type of two thumbs up. Hmm? And what do I see? And what do I see in the teaser? Well, I don't know, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Pero ayoko mo nang, I don't want to go, I don't want to, I don't want to mention it because Panoorin nyo na lang, panoorin nyo na lang yung teaser Panoorin nyo na din yung itong episode na to para lalo nyo maintindihan, alright? Episodes uh, 5, 6, and 7 Okay They have, they have now set the tone for the rest of the season That's what I, that's the way I, that's the way I see it right here X-Arm Episode 3 Wow! <laughs> Grabe ang action nito! I don't know... I don't know what the... I don't know what's the deal with corruption eh. Because, well... Corruption results in action. Alright? The heroes dealt with corruption at every, at every corner. Corruption was at every corner here. Right? And, well... Basically... Akira felt helpless. Then, suddenly, I think, he had an epiphany. Boom! He was able to hack into uh, one of the battle gears that were that was sent to them. Pero, na, dis na, na dispatch siya sana ni, ni Elmira yung, yung android bait ng, baga, siguro, hindi na magiging arch enemy nila rito, siguro. Grabe! He was able to hack into that, and now, lo and behold, he's got a new body. <laughs> he's got a new fucking body. Grave. The action is the action has just picked up, right? And the missions are now more dangerous than ever. Episode three, pala. Episode three, pala. Overall, it's a fucking good episode. <laughs> I never knew, uh, I don't know, uh, I thought this kind of action was only limited to those in the same. No, X-Mark Kaya pala, isang bakuan. I never thought the rookie cyberpunk anything like X-Mark would such, pull such action off. Sounds true to life. God <laughs> sounds true to life. And well, uh, then face face and fall now. No problem. They all fell into place in the final scene, which was meant to be, which was really meant to be, which makes this a fucking good episode. Wow. Let me let me re, let me re, let me re-describe that. It's a slam bang episode. Uh, if this is the road x Arm is going to take, by all means, take it. <laughs> by all means, take it. Okay? Kasi, well, although, although crude yung, yung CGI niya, it's not, hindi naman kasimpino ng Beastars to, or even, ano eh, or even, uh, it's contemporary, it's like Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, God of High School, or even, uh, or even Standalone Complex. Or, mas pino pa kayo sa standalone complex eh. Pero, hey, I only care about the story. Ang ga ganda yung plot. Okay? Maganda yung plot. And, well, for CGI, ang ganda lang execution. Ang ganda lang execution. Alright? So, X-Arm Episode 3. Two thumbs up. Alright? 
this anime is slowly is slowly making me uh making me pat myself on the back for putting it on the roster. Okay? I was supposed uh, not to uh, include new animes anymore because puno na ako sa mga returning. Eh. Uh, the roster has been so filled with returning animes na para kayo ko na eh. But seeing uh, reading the synopsis of this anime for the third time parang kongreso eh. Third and final reading. And I said okay let's give this a chance. Total total na delay na to eh. It's one of those animes that have been delayed that have been delayed since last year. Okay? Ngayon na talaga nabigyan ng airtime. Okay? Kaya siya na delay. We all know it's because of the pandemic. It's because of the pandemic. So, I thought, okay, let's give this anime a chance. Now, episode 3 made me think na, boy, I made a good choice in this one. I made a good choice kasi ang daming bagong anime this this quarter this uh, this winter 2021 maraming bagong anime ngayon okay I have passed them all up just for XR why? number one reason ko it's a cyberpunk anime okay sa story pa lang alam ko na cyberpunk eh. Eh, I love it. I'm a fan of the cyberpunk genre mecha cyberpunk hey I'll take I'll I'll take you anytime I'll take you anytime. Alright? Tsaka mukhang ano te. Mukhang... Uh, yeah, maganda story. Maganda story. Okay? And I think there will be an inevitable ending. Eh. That's what I... Uh, that's that's the way I see it with the... With the, with the whole storyline of x Arm. And with action as slam bang as this... makes it a more enjoyable review experience. Okay? You, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, Twitch? About the about this anime? Uh, about this anime? So again, x Arm Episode 3, two thumbs up. Congratulations, x Arm. It's your first two thumbs up. <laughs> it's, their, it's their first two thumbs up, actually. Because one and two, uh, what do you I believe one thumb up na yung binigay ko for each. So, ito first two thumbs up ng anime na to. Episode 3 pa lang, it's... I rarely give the two thumbs up on an episode 3. Kasi normally, that's where, that's where the, the story then begins to slack off. As in the case of Attack on Titan Final Season. Yan, yan, yan. Ganyan na ano yan. Pero, in the case of x Arm, nope. I think... I think the, the storyline has just picked up. Alright? The storyline has just picked up for this anime. And, see the teaser? Makatarin! Something to look forward to again next week. Master Boy second season episode 3 Ginutom ako ng episode na to. Wow, I am a sucker for uh, for 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 shellfish foods. Yung mga tipong merong abalone, merong tulia, may halaan. I crave for those kinds of foods kasi bihira eh. You don't get that much uh you don't get that much uh, shellfish for for no, no, for uh, rarely, rarely. So, okay, back to the episode. Wow. Okay, I remember. I remember this episode so well. Okay, I'm talking about the the episode from the original series. Okay, the only way to beat a scammer is to scam him back. Okay. This episode is a good lesson on it. Ang galing. Ang ganda na pagkakagawa ng... Ang ganda na pagkakagawa ng screw job ni... Yung pagkakascrew job ni... Ni Lamau dito sa... Sa Shenyu na to. Sa mga gagantong ito. So, they eventually... They eventually... They eventually counter-scammed him. And, uh... Well, ginisig nila yung isip ng mga tao. Of course, through... Of course, through... Mouse cooking. Talks out. 
pinakamako. Grabe, ginutom, ginutom ako nung ginutom ako kanina ng episode na to. Grabe. But, hey, <clears throat> um, they, the whole team Mao ended up uh, taking, taking down this, they ended up taking down this, uh, this scam artist in their own way. Kasi si Lien at si uh, Lien at si ito? Shell. I call him Shell in the original series. Inimbestiga nila itong, na itong, itong Shengyu na to from Shanghai. Kasi may, may suspensa sila kasi na may ties ito sa Cooking Underworld. Yung talagang halaman nila. Meron. Pero, kahit itong si Sheng yung iniscam pa na niya ang Cooking Underworld. So, of course, well, you mess with the Cooking Underworld, you're as good as dead. <laughs> you're as good as dead. So, yeah, he ran for his life into the mountains. He scams a whole village into thinking that he's a god. And he uses this spot, which turned out to be a, a certified legendary utensil. Nakata ko. You know, nakay ako. Overall, <laughs> Overall, it's a really good episode. Vintage Cooking Master Boy. Okay? The way, it's exactly how I remember it from the original series, itong episode na to. Okay? I, I remember it like, I remember the original episode like it was, like it was just yesterday. Like it was just five minutes ago na napanood ko. Okay? Throwback mode na naman tuloy ako. Grabe. Tinakam ako ng episode na to. Ginutom ako tuloy eh. Wala nga, intermittent fasting pa naman ako ngayon. The pace, the flow, the plot, talagang production IG followed the original, the original, is following the original series to the letter. Talagang this episode reminded me exactly what happened in that original episode. Grabe. Production IG went out of their way to, to totally, <clears throat> uh, recreate to totally recreate this class this classic from this classic from the late 90s talagang wow bawa ko sa rito talagang from start to finish although medyo mabilis but, but anyway it's we have to keep up with the times we have to keep up with the times although medyo mabilis eh, it's totally understandable okay if you want to cater to the uh, to the current generation of anime fans you have to Pick the pace up a little bit. Pero wag masyado. Okay? Wag masyado. It's a fucking good episode. I tell you guys. <laughs> na throwback mode na naman ako. Ginutom ako ng episode na to. When I, when I first saw that, when I first saw the original episode, ganun din ang, ganun din ang naging reaction ko. Ginutom ako. <laughs> Ginutom ako! Grabe. And I, how old was I then? Uh, I saw the original series in 2000. Mga... Ilan taon ako noon? Uh, 27? Wala, wala pa akong katagit-tagit sa katawan noon. <laughs> Ginutom ako ng gusto ng, ng original episode. And now, uh, I was... It put me on throwback po. Talaga ngayon, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a Kito IF pa. Pero muntik... Nakalimutan ko pagkakito ayaw po ko sa episode na to. Talaga, kinutom ako. Kinutom ako ulit. <clears throat> kinutom talaga ako ulit. Nakaharap na, nakaharap na talaga ako ng buto. So, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode 3. Two thumbs up and a big two. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big two. Ay, grabe. Wow. Hey, did you see, did you see the final scene? Mukhang may dalawang bagong kalaban si, you know, si Mao, alright? Ah, uh, yeah, don't worry. I'm going to, I'll instantly, I'll instantly recall those characters once I, uh, once I, once I see the next episode. Don't worry, guys, okay? Because I have seen all 54 episodes of the original series. Okay, napanood ko lahat yan. Napanood ko lahat yan. Ang gan, it's a classic, okay? The original series was a classic. Ano anong food wars sino anong food wars niyo nalalaman? Ulul. <laughs> Cooking Master Boy is food wars is papi. Okay? It's food wars is papi. 
Food Wars, this is your Cooking Master Boy is your long lost dad. Alright? Yan ang, yan ang masasabi ko sa inyo sa mga fans ng fans ng Food Wars. Ano, ginutok talaga ako ng episode yung grabe. Ang hindi ko pa naman sa fried rice. <laughs> All kinds of fried rice. Papatulang ko yan. Kahit tuwe. I'm going to make it a quick day. Right there and then. Nakatikim na ako ng kakaiba fried rice. So, so again, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode 3. Two thumbs up. A fried rice centric two thumbs up. Wow. Like I said kanina, like I said a while ago, the next episode, hindi ko na matandaan yung ano, dalawang kalaban ni Mao na yun. Yung dalawang kalaban na yun eh. Pero, don't worry guys. Don't worry mga kalaksa. Don't worry Twitch. I will recall those those characters once I see that ep that particular episode. The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 3. Ang lakas ni Escanor! <laughs> Every time Escanor uh, gets gets pissed off like that, he goes he goes God mode. <laughs> Every time he is uh, in a battle with any with Meliodas or any of his brothers, he goes into God mode. <laughs> he goes God mode. All right. If you're a Seven Deadly Sins fan, you know how you, you know how crazy strong Escanor is. He is the most uh, he is the scariest. He is the most powerful of all the seven deadly sins. In uh, at times, talaga malakas, mas malakas pa siya kay Meliodas eh. Mas malakas pa siya. Overall, it's a fucking good episode. Alright? Yun ang nagpaganti. Um, the, um, the tide of battle turning, in, turning, turning to, uh, turning to Ludus Hill's group's uh, fate war. It did pay, but kasi kaya, kaya na naman na na nag-cutball si Eskano dito kasi nasaktan si Merlin. Dugo na si Merlin. Dugo na si Merlin sa episode na to. Na natamaan yata siya ng ano eh, yung huling blast ng Ominous Nebula ni ni Zeldris. Ni Zeldris. So dun, dun na galit si Eskano. That's when he went God mode. <laughs> That's when he went God mode. Alright? Yung Okay, but fully understandable. Because a quick backstory deserves a, a battle scene, a battle episode deserves a good, deserves a good but quick backstory. You don't want to uh, have the backstory linger for too long. Because it's easy to miss it. It's easy to miss the essence of the episode actually. Right? In this case, okay lang. It did not affect the pace, it did not affect the, pl the flow, it enhanced the plot. We now have a pretty good idea of what Zeldris' ulterior motives are. The motivation behind his commitment to the Ten Commandments, and of course, uh, on becoming the next Demon King until Meliodas cut a deal with him. Secret deal nila yon, Right? Um, nothing is... Nothing is complete yet. Kung mga snippets lang ito, parts, part dito, part doon, part dito, part doon. Parang ganun lang yun. It's okay. You, got, you gotta keep the viewers in suspense. In suspense mode. Alright? So, it's completely understandable. So, The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 3 Two thumbs up. And, uh, a two thumbs up approved by Escanor. <laughs> Grabe! As if Cruel Sun, as if you thought Cruel Sun is is his uh, is his uh, biggest finishing move. Ah ah! Pinita pa niyong palakon niyang ganon. He himself becomes the sword na. Okay. Divine sword, divine spirit, Escanor. Walang niya. May, tina may tinago pa lang special move to si Escanor. Grabe, ngayon na niya pinakita. And it's against Zeltris. Malas na. 
Ang manas ni Zeldris. Ang manas ni Zeldris. We saw it. We also in the final scene. He's about to get. He's about to get thrust by Escanor. All right. So, wow. Okay. Vintage Seven Deadly Sins. Ang episode nato. And kasi eh, wap. No. Um. Tell you frankly. Tell you frankly. No. Uh, episode of the Seven Deadly Sins is complete without Escanor. No battle, no battle scene in in this anime is complete without Escanor's uh, Escanor's skills and abilities. I couldn't imagine the Seven Deadly Sins without him. <laughs> I could not imagine the Seven Deadly Sins without him. See si Escanor, he is the uh, 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 I believe the final fully alas parati ni Milodas. Huli, alas siya para ati yun si Escanor. Okay? Kaya, ganda ang episode na to. Because Escanor, because a, uh, a pissed off Escanor was in it. So again, The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 3. Two thumbs up. Okay. Like I said kanina, a two thumbs up approved by Escanor. <laughs> The next episode has been teasered in Typical Seven Deadly Sins fashion. Chini Chini. Ito pa, ito pa lang masusunod na episode, but I was confused kanina. I was confused. I was confused, Twitch. I was confused, mga ka-lifestyle. So, we got no choice but to watch the next episode. I, I'm just looking forward to that. Log Horizon 3rd Season Episode 3 Ah, okay This is what uh, I think this is what the, the Log Horizon manga is known for Right? Uh, good mix of adventure and politics Okay? It almost It almost uh, bore me to sleep I gotta admit okay? You saw me twitch, right? I was already doing like that But When uh, during the final sequence when Princess Rhaenesia suddenly showed up at the secret meeting between Shiro and Ainz wearing the round table co her round table conference uniform nagkaroon ng leverage si Shiro and said well let's fight quote unquote but not exactly through a, through a war. Not exactly through a war. Through an election. Let the people of Akiba decide on what their future will be. Tama na, tama na naman si Shiro doon. Tama na naman siya doon. Kaysa namang, kaysa, kaysa namang, kaysa namang patayan tayo, hindi ganito na lang. Right? It'll all be over in one day. It'll all, like a, uh, like a like a quick battle it'll also be over in one day but minus the bloodshed may point si Shiro doon alright overall yeah I never expected the moral lesson in this episode but the, uh, the moral lesson you will pick up here yep true to life it's an almost true to life episode you say well like they say, the only thing constant is change. Eh, inaasyong agad, inaasyong agad ni Ainz na tapos na ang, tapos na ang uh, roundtable conference. And, well, Princess Rhaenesia, uh, technically, through her appearance, said it isn't over yet. So, to resolve the matter, sabi ni Shiro, let's do this through an election. Mag-election, mag-election tayo. Right? So the pace, yeah, the pace medyo, uh, it was slow enough to make me, to make me doze off a bit. I admit, okay? I admit. Guilty. Guilty. It was slow enough to make me doze a bit. The flow, well, maganda yung pinag, maganda yung kina, 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 yung, um, uh, where, where the, where the episode drove at. Where the episode, what the episode was driving at. Okay. A 
across the plot. Wow, I never expected a, such a moral lesson on this uh, from this episode because I was already doing do this, this, this. Okay. Again, overall, it's. <clears throat> yeah, it's a really good episode. Because I also felt. I also felt the tension there. Eh? This is what politics can do to people. Eh? Na medyo nagiging, medyo nagiging tense ang tao. Nagiging uh, to the point of, well, medyo stressful na sa kaiisip. That's, that's, that's the effect of politics. Eh? Okay? And this episode, yep, it made me feel what, uh, made me feel the, uh, what's it called, the negative impact of politics. Okay? So, Log Horizon 3rd Season Episode 3. One thumb up. Bakit one thumb up? Why am I so... Why, why was I so excited in the first place? Kasi... I was midway through the episode. I was already... I, I, already, I already wanted to give it the... Uh, uh, a lower rating. But... This came along yung... No, the fine... The final few sequences. Wow. Nitig bumawi ah. <laughs> ang lakas bumawi. Ang lakas na binawi ng episode na ah. So, tag Taggan yung antok ko, actually. When, when I saw the, um, the dialogue, the dialogue, say something. When I read the dialogue, Oh, teka. Mukhang nagkakainita na to ah. Mukhang, mukhang, mukhang nagkakaangasan ah. So, yeah. That's why, that's why I gave it the one thumb up, right? But it did not warrant, it did not warrant, it did not warrant the two, the two thumbs up. Sana, during the early part of the episode, medyo, ano ne, tapos medyo nilagyan pa ng spice yung plot. Tapos nilagyan pa ng konti spice yung plot. Para, para ma-justify ko na pwedeng bigyan ng two thumbs up. But no, hanggang one thumb up lang. Hanggang one thumb up lang Twitch, mga lifestyle. So again, Log Horizon third season episode three. One thumb up, right? One thumb up. This episode has teasers. Okay, every episode has a teaser in the end. I think you've seen it. I think you've seen it. And I've already said what is going proverbially what is going to happen in the next episode so gonna nga mangyari kaya panoorin na lang natin alright Beastars 2nd season episode 3 there's a new member to drama club and well Legacy finally understands his feelings not just for the rabbit, si Haru, but for all her viewers. Napapansin ko, parang ano eh, parang mala siya sa mga her viewers eh. Okay, si Tem, na best friend niya, pinatay. Si Louie, na naging kariban niya kay Haru, is now a crime boss. Right? He's a crime boss now. And Haru, um, siguro playing safe si Legacy decides to distance distance himself a little bit from Haru right? Just because all of all of, all, of, all that's what all that's happened to is her before friends and associates and wow did you see the final scene did you guys see the final scene someone is sneaking up on Legacy Legacy I don't know Someone is actually stalking Legacy, Legacy from behind. Alright? Overall. Overall. It's a good episode. Okay. If it weren't for the final scene and... Uh, the entrance of the latest member of the, uh, of the drama club. His arrogant entrance. Okay. His arrogant entrance okay, bago bago yabang ni eh. so 
I might have given it a lower rating. To tell you honestly. Even though Beastars is one of my favorite animes. Alright, I got I'm telling this to you guys. Mga lifestyle, Twitch. Beastars is one of my favorite. One of my, uh... It's in my... Uh, probably top 25 animes. Top 25 animes list. Beastars. I might have given it a lower rating if it weren't for the final scene and... The pretty arrogant entrance by the, uh... By the newest member of the drama club. Yung, kasi yung base. Yeah? Typical beast stars. Tapos yung flow. Yeah. Alright? Everyone wants to get into... Wants to get into Legacy's head. Okay? Everybody wants to get into Legacy's head. So... Yeah, yung flow medyo... Hindi. Hindi ko mag-isip. Tama-tama lang. Tama-tama lang. And the plot... Uh, parang ano eh it's more like a transition episode it felt like a transition episode so yeah overall again it's it's a good episode so Beastars Pwe Beastars second season episode 3 one thumb up right one thumb up if Legacy had uh, continued investigating on Tem's death, it might have uh, it might have gone it might have had a much darker ending to this episode, right? It might have been a more exciting episode. Kasi kung tinuloy lang niya yung yung pag-imbisig sa pagkamatay ng kaibigan niya, I might have given it a higher rating. I might have given it a two thumbs up. I might have given it to two thumbs up if um, if the animators have stuck to the story, to the plot of episodes. Now episodes one and two. At least episodes one and two. Pero medyo nag medyo nag veer away ang anime na to from from that uh, from that from that major plot. Alright. Pero there are instances na talag talagang na talagang uh, iniimbisigahan ni Legacy ang um, ni Tem. There was, there was one scene in particular that he was actually um, no, although not directly questioning the motives of his fellow of his um, of his co- of his co-club members who are also carnivores. Uh, kasi marami, marami silang carnivore kasi na members sa drama club. Ilan lang ang herbivore. Ina na her before. Ina na her before dito. So again, Beastars second season episode 3. One thumb up. Right? Again, well, kung sanay na kayo manood ng Beastars, alam nyo walang teaser. No, no, no teaser. No, uh, no teasering whatsoever. Ni title, wala. So, let's just Wait for the next. Wait for the newest episode and just watch it. All right. 